Hi, it's Obama1975 and welcome to Lee Dangerous on the Xbox. And today I've got kind of a video that's going to jump all over the place. Um, so this is me on tour with the boys. So this is our trip from, um, well, the bubble to Beagle Point eventually. But this was our the leg where we went from Cogonia to the core. And um, there was just so many neutron stars along the way. I thought I'd make a video talking about all the neutron stars. And then, of course, um, we got a massive news drop from Frontier. And uh, I had no video prepared for it, so I'm going to use this video for that. Um, and thank you to whoever's footage this is, because it's a really cool shot of an anaconda flying towards camera. And I don't know which one of the boys recorded this, um, so I'm sure they'll tell me in the comments down below. But it was a cool shot, so I thought I'd put it in there. Um, as far as the journey's going, the journey's going great. Uh, this leg was really fun because there were so many neutron stars, and I'd never done a neutron jump in my life. Um, before this talk, before this trip, and I'm getting better at them, uh, but they are lethal. I just, I'm so nervous about them. At this point, I'm like getting more increasingly nervous. The closer I get to Beagle Point, that I'm going to mess one up and kill myself. But there were so many black holes, so many neutron stars. I thought I'd capture this footage. Now we're going to take a little ad break and then talk about the news from FDev. So we're going to take a pause to take a quick look at what you guys sponsor. With your guys' views, you help out Big Red Rooster Cockerel Rescue, helping out cocks of all sizes, all shapes, and for the love of the cock, keep watching so we can raise money for this lovely little animal rescue and save birds my, my little co-pilot here. Now, I detailed in my community feed what they're doing in terms of transfer, and I've got to say they're doing it way better than I expected, and the fact they're offering a copy of Elite Dangerous 4 PC is actually nice. The only thing they're not doing is buying us a PC. Uh, but... I've got to say, on the whole, it's been very fair. The issue with carriers is here, neither here nor there for me, and the ARCS issue isn't an issue. But I did like this statement. The other thing I want to add, is so I see so many posts saying, oh, you're just going to switch off the console servers. It's not happening. You can carry on playing on console. I appreciate the news. I'm a console player. I appreciate the news regarding Odyssey's development is not what we wanted to hear. I appreciate that, but I understand it. It does not mean my game stops. I can continue playing. And if, if you transfer over, you can also still continue playing. Um, but we're not switching off the servers for, for console, so please, can we, can, we, can we not say that? Having spent an evening playing the console version of Elite Dangerous uh, with him, I, I'm happy to hear him say that, and I'm happy that FDev will continue to run the servers for the console version. Uh, from my understanding, they're going to run for a good amount of years. Uh, so I'm happy to continue playing on console. Um, from a personal note, I would have actually preferred it if they couldn't transfer people's accounts so well because uh, it might have encouraged a few more people to stay on console um, because console will still be playable will still be good as long as there's people playing it and i fear that a lot of people aren't going to transfer to pc um i mean they've hit every note that i thought they wouldn't be able to uh they even mentioned the transfer of the cobra mark 4 which was one of my things was like i didn't want to lose my pirate ship to cobra mark 4. now i will be doing the transfer uh, because it won't affect my account on Xbox at all and it will just mean that if I ever need it there'll be an account on PC um, will I use it probably not because I plan to stay on console till they turn the lights off um, but it does mean if they do ever bring a cool space truck like this into the game which was shared in concept art I could happily jump on the a PC and play it I mean I think Elite Dangerous Odyssey would run on my laptop just about um, literally just about uh, would be good enough for me it's, a, it's actually a pretty decent laptop but anyway I'd love to know what you think about the console transfer in the comments down below and I'm going to leave you now with Scooby talking about the fact there's so many neutron stars in the area around the core and say so that's all thank you very much for watching the hundreds of neutron stars bookmarked you know whatever the maximum is um, and yet every time you go out, especially around this, these sorts of areas, you will come across hundreds of neutron stars that haven't been found yet. And you think, oh, you know, just that many out there. 